talk a little bit about my favorite way to catch walleye. Bottom bouncing. Uh, I come from Idaho and I was uh, always a trout fisherman and uh, walleye are a real challenging fish to catch. I, I know a lot of people give up on them and go back to catching trout, but if you ever master it, you won't want to catch any trout again, I tell you that. But uh, uh, you need your good pole with a real sensitive tip and a big backbone. I use level wind reels because they, they get down there quicker. Sometimes that's important. And uh, you don't need to put leader on your line. I use eight pound fire line on all my reels. You never have to re-spool. I've had some of the same line on reels for six, going on six years and never had to re-spool. They even say you can take it off and turn it around. I've never done that, but you need to uh, attach it to a, a swivel, snap swivel is what I use, and, uh, and then you can uh, take the bottom bouncer. I use, uh, they come in various lengths, but uh, I use two ounce, and that allows you to fish from 14 foot to 70 feet. And uh, so you can have all the different kinds of you want on your boat, but I, I mostly use two ounce, and if it gets a little bit windy, I might go to three. But the, the key is to get your bait on the bottom because walleye are a bottom fish. Uh, so you, you're in your boat, and you're fishing with your electric, and you drop your uh, bottom bouncer down there until it hits the bottom, and just some people like it ticking on the bottom like that. I, I like to pull it up just an inch or so off the bottom and put it in the rod holder. And uh, I, I use uh, what they call smile blades. I use probably these more than any other blade out there and there's a reason for that they're the real light they're made out of some kind of plastic and you can get down to like four tenths of a mile an hour and that blade will still spin where a metal blade you got to get up around one over one mile an hour and you can buy them at mac lures i tie up my own rigs state of utah you can use three hooks i've i've done some fishing with three hooks but I like two the best make your own it's kind of it's kind of interesting to make something and put it down there and have fish bite it but this is the favorite my favorite color anywhere I go is uh, chartreuse with black flake don't tell anybody about it or there won't be any walleye left <laughs> and uh, the thing the thing to uh yes Oh, I'll see. You want to see it? I got some for sale for five bucks. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you you can uh, make your own bead colors. I use just something different all the time. And uh, you put it down on the, on the you drop it down so like I say it hits the bottom, and you turn your electric on. And uh, and you you go, and you know I I can catch walleye. I was down in Lake Powell two weeks ago, and I was catching them in 70 feet, which is pretty rare. 20 to 30 feet is about the best place to uh, the best depth to catch them. You drop it over the side of the boat, and the key is to don't let your line out any more than 45 degrees. Straight up and down would be best, but you're moving, so you're, you're not going to achieve that unless you've got six ounces on it. But no more than 45 degrees. If you get too many, too far out there, then your bottom bouncer lays down, and then you're snagged up, and you get all PO'd, and then you're back to trout fishing. <laughs> I've seen a lot of guys do it, believe me. But uh, you go along, and uh, you'll have your uh, bottom bouncer down there. And uh, you'll, a lot of times you, you'll only see the pole load up. It won't go do, 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 like that, like trout do, but you'll just see it load up, like go down like that. And uh, you know you got something on it. And a lot of times they're just mouthing it. So 
what you want to do is when you see that happen, don't jerk like crazy on it. Just swing it like that, and then you hook the carpet. I do that every time. <laughs> Anyways, you, you just swing it. And uh, well, first let me back up a little bit. When you see that going on right there, uh, you know there's something after it. So you, you feed him some line, first of all. And he's got two choices. He's going to eat it or he's going to swim off. If you think he's still there, then rather than jerk it like crazy, you just kind of swing your rod a little bit like that, and you'll usually get him and then reel him in. And, and what's neat about bottom bouncers, it's, uh, if you don't like just fishing for bottom bouncers, it's a really, really good way to locate fish. And a lot of times where there's one, there's, there's many. So if you can, uh, you gotta watch my time here where I get kicked out of here. You can, uh, you can, you have choices. When you when you catch one, you can, uh, you can either go up and back and forth in that same area, maybe 50, 60 yards, and if there's more there, you'll get them. Or if you have a, I, I bought this new electric motor a couple of years ago. It's called iPilot. It has a really nice feature where when you catch a fish, you can push a button and it runs off GPS signal and it'll back you up right where you push the button so you can, you can stop there and get your other rod out with a jig head on it, a night crawler, and, and jig them. And, and uh, that's a really productive way uh, to fish them. Like I say, you can fish them in... 40 to 70 feet, 14 to 70 feet, but the key is no more than 45 degree angle on your bouncer. And uh, pull night crawler. Uh, you get your night crawler and you got two hooks. I don't know if you can see them. I used to use three, but they're kind of a pain in the butt to tie three, but you stab the, the, the top hook in the head of the night crawler and then you stretch it out and then you stab the second hook. So that night crawlers, if you get some big ones, I got a friend that buys them up in Bountiful, we call them snakes. They'll be like 12 inches long. Now, that's got to be tempting to a walleye. 12 inch snake swimming around in the water. But the key is to having it uh, fully length like that. And, uh, it's really, really uh, a challenging way to catch fish. I love it. Uh, like I say, I love walleye fishing all together. And uh, the sensitive rod tip and the backbone, level wind reel, spinner rig, uh, smile blades is my favorite. I, I tie my own up, so I've got every color they make. Sometimes people say color doesn't mean nothing, but it does. If that blade there ain't catching fish, you just well go home. Seriously. But uh, you got to have all the arsenals. Sometimes black works, sometimes red works, green, blue. Black, black works real good at Lake Powell. I was there a couple of weeks ago and just slaughtered the walleye. It's a good thing there's no limit there because there's millions of them in there. I ain't kidding you. And from from now till the middle of May, they they go they spawn. They're probably about done spawning now. Two weeks ago, some had spawned and some hadn't. But by the end of towards the end of April, they'll be what they call post spawn, and they'll be looking for food because they haven't had any for a while because they've been devoting all their time to spawn. And then we had a tournament there, Lake Powell. I think it was three years ago, and we all was up by uh, Tickaboo Canyon, like, like 23 miles upriver, but I think four boats in an eight-hour period caught over 200 walleye, just with bottom bouncers, back and forth. So it does work. And uh, for a leader, I use uh, fluorocarbon line because it's invisible. And it's a pretty sturdy line. P line's what I use. I mean, there's a lot of different kinds out there, but uh, I like P line and 100% fluorocarbon. Bottom bouncers, uh, 
I just bought a, I went, was down at Lake Powell and I ran out. I had to bum some, bum some from my buddy so I could fish another day. But Shields have them, has them on sale right now, 12 for eight bucks, which is a bargain. And they'll even ship them to you for free. So I don't know where that kid went, but I need some. <laughs> Johnny Candle uh, told me we went to North Dakota to fish for walleye after he'd done the seminar at Shields and he says every spring you have them on sale 12 for five bucks but I haven't seen that yet. Is that going to happen? Next week. Next week. Next week, or next week. I bought too soon, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, you can never have enough of them. It's a bummer when you run out. You got to tie a rock on there or something. <laughs> but uh, any questions? <clears throat> well, I've tried a lot of different lengths. That's a good question. Some people like six, seven, eight feet. I like three feet. That way it's not bouncing all around down there. Yeah, for the most part. Uh, you get down to Yuba and uh, I tie uh, worm harnesses up with the steel leader because uh, you won't keep one very long, sometimes the northern will attack it, but uh, yeah, for the most part. Bl metal blades works good down at uh, you, but of course you can go a lot faster and they'll chase it pretty good. Do you use a float with your weight rate sometimes? I don't. I used to have a kid where I used to work, made them and had floats and I don't tie any floats, but <laughs> any other questions? Jeez. Eight pound. Oh, oh, say I'm sorry. Okay. Well, he asked what what works best, artificial worms or real worms. I guarantee you, you go to starvation when the bite's on, the perch drive you nuts. That's why I like to fish at night for them. But you better take twelve to fifteen dozen. I'm serious, and you'd be lucky to have any at the end of the day. But uh, one year, a few years back, I got tired of the playing that game, so I bought Berkeley Gulp makes some uh, imitating night crawlers. I used them once, they worked really well, and I've never been able to catch a fish on them since. I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> but experiment. Yes, sir. What he asked, what's the best speed for bottom bounce and I uh, I start out slow 0.5 tenths of a mile and figure out what they like probably if I had to pick a speed that was the best it'd be 0 0.7 0 0.8 with smile blades now you can't you can't troll that slow with a metal blade because it won't turn but for smile blades that works the best any I'll tell you about that later on. Okay. He asked if, it, if it's better to fish at night, and uh, I'll talk about that later when we talk about lights. We're going to keep moving here. Um, thank you, LJ.